Breaking Biafra, Unamdekano now prisoner of conscience. Unamdekano now prisoner of conscience, I poor people said. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, I greet you and stay tuned as I read today's news. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, on Friday declared its leader, Unamde Kanu, as a prisoner of conscience. IPOB said Kanu, who is in the custody of the Department of State Services, TSS, was arrested for committing no offense. The more powerful, the spokesman of IPOB, said its leader only advocated for self-determination due to the perceived oppression of the Southeast. A statement by Powerful Reed, following the extraordinary rendition of Mazi Unamdekanu from Kenya to Nigeria without proper documentation for doing so and long incarceration and detention of Mazi Unamdekanu in TSS custody. With the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, wish to state categorically to the people of the world that Mazinam de Kanum is now declared prisoner of conscience. In 2015, Unam de Kanum was first arrested and subjected to an egregious violation of his fundamental right after his miraculous escape from the military invasion of his home in 2017. He was abducted in Kenya and reditioned to Nigeria in June this year, 2021. Mazinam de Kanum has been in DSS detention in Abuja ever since then. We therefore have to inform the world most civilized countries and the African continent that Mazinam de Kanum is fighting for the freedom and self-determination of his people because under the United Nations Charter, to which Nigeria is a signatory, self-determination is not a crime. Under the African Union Charter, to which Nigeria is a signatory, Self-determination is not a crime under the laws of the Federation of Nigeria, particularly Article 20, Cap A9, self-determination is not a crime. As a matter of fact and law, self-determination is recognized as a right both domestically and internationally. Above all, self-determination is a political opinion which is recognized as a fundamental right under the Nigerian constitution. It is a matter of public record that hundreds of concerned citizens exercising their rights to peaceful protest protested in the incarceration of Mazi Unamdikanu, but were massacred in cold blood by Nigerian security services. Many more were arrested without trial, some disappeared, and have never been found till today. During the military invasion of his residence, codenamed Operation Python Dance, Mazinam Dekanu was almost killed, save for his miraculous escape. In 2021, he was kidnapped by the Nigerian government in Kenya and subjected to extraordinary rendition to Nigeria against his will and against all norms and rules of international law. In both instances, he committed no offense known to law. He only advocated self-determination for his people and all oppressed peoples in Nigeria. He did so peacefully by articulating the decades of oppression, marginalization, inequality, apartheid, brutality and genocide to which his people and all oppressed peoples in Nigeria have been subjected. And in the light of those grievances, he demanded a referendum on self-determination and self-rule for the indigenous peoples of Biafra, IPOB and all aggrieved groups and lovers of freedom. In doing so, he bore no malice nor hate against any group. He only demanded self-determination as enshrined in the African Charter and the United Nations Charter, both of which Nigeria is a signatory. In peacefully articulating the grievances of an injured and oppressed people and in seeking self-determination for all such people's Namdekano broke no law within or outside Nigeria. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has been and remains a peaceful organization devoid of any aid or violence and totally committed to its aims and objective through peaceful democratic means as recognized by international law. 
having regards, therefore, to all of the above and his continued extrajudicial de detention, we hereby declare Mazin Amdekanum a prisoner of conscience. We do so because, like Nelson Mandela, he broke no law nor committed any offense. He only advocated freedom for his people from decades along apartheid, level oppression, and tyranny. We use this opportunity to put the world on notice to ongoing extrajudicial de detentions, persecution, and widespread human rights violations in Nigeria. In the same vein, we we'll call on the United States, the great state of Israel, the European Union, the African Union, the United Nations, Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, and all lovers of freedom to intervene before it is too late. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, on Friday declared its leader, Unabde Kanu, as a prisoner of conscience. IPOP said Kanu, who is in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS, was arrested for committing no offense. Ima Powerful, the spokesman of IPOB, said its, earlier, says, said its leader only advocated for self-determination due to the perceived oppression of the Southeast. A statement by Powerful Reed, following the extraordinary rendition of Mazin Amde Kanu from Kenya to Nigeria without proper documentation, for doing so and log incarceration and detention of Mazin Amde Kanu in DSS custody. With the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, which to state categorically to the people of the world that Mazin Amde Kanu is now declared prisoner of conscience. In 2015, Unamde Kanu was first arrested and subjected to an egregious violation of his fundamental right after his miraculous escape from the military invasion of his home in 2017 he was abducted in kenya and redemptioned to nigeria in june this year mazina dikanum has been in dss detention in abuja ever since then we therefore we have to inform the world most civilized countries and the African continent that Mazin Abdekano is fighting for the freedom and self-determination of his people because under the United Nations Charter, to which Nigeria is a signatory, self-determination is not a crime. Under the African Union Charter, to which Nigeria is a signatory, self-determination is not a crime under the laws of the Federation of Nigeria, particularly Article 20. Cap A9, self-determination is not a crime. As a matter of fact and law, self-determination is recognized as a right, both domestically and internationally. Above all, self-determination is a political opinion, which is recognized as a fundamental right under the Nigerian constitution. It is a matter of public record that hundreds of concerned citizens exercising their rights to peaceful protest protested the incarceration of Mazin Abde Kanu, but were massacred in cold blood by Nigerian security services. Many more were arrested without trial, some disappeared and have never been found till today. During the military invasion of his residence, codenamed Operation Python Dance, Mazin Kanu was almost killed save for his miraculous escape. In 2021, he was kidnapped by the Nigerian government in Kenya and subjected to extraordinary rendition to Nigeria against his will and against all norms and rules of international law. In both instances, he committed no offense known to law. He only advocated self-determination for his people and all oppressed peoples in Nigeria. He did so peacefully by articulating the decades of oppression, marginalization, inequality, apartheid, brutality and genocide to which his people and all oppressed peoples in Nigeria have been subjected. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about today's news. Thank you.